You know, about a hundred years ago, I preached a little sermon on that verse you just saw, the No More Tears verse, and it's such a, a powerful promise. But this was at my grandmother's funeral, and I did it through a lot of tears. And, um, you know, but it, it's kind of come back to me afresh. And there were two senseless murders uh, in our area, and one of them happened very close to work. Um, and the victim we found out was a close, close friend of a close friend of ours. It was just like, oh my gosh, and so senseless. Um, and the second one happened just a mile away from our house. And again, just senseless, heartbreaking. And you think about the pain that radi radiates out from that one loss. And it's just devastating to think about all those loved ones. And then in the midst of everything, uh, we were supposed to spend Christmas with my mother-in-law. Uh, and my father-in-law, and she fell sick, and then she just passed away this week. And, and then to top it off, yesterday we were shooting a video, and in the story of this video, the victim's daughter, they'd been through a lot of emotional trauma, and the, the uh, victim's daughter committed suicide, and I was just past that, and I get a text. And then I see this text, and there's a kid who committed suicide in a nearby school, and you just feel the brokenness of this world and it was overwhelming and uh, uh, let's just say that affected me deeply. I had to stop and <laughs> and uh, the, the guys that work on the videos, <laughs> they don't know what's going on but they see me and I'm really broken up. The place we are going to, uh, the Lord says there are no more tears, there's no more mourning. It's like all this has passed away and that we, we can't even understand that, right? That doesn't make sense with our, our in this present life. Um, and in other places in the scripture, he says um, that this place we're going to is beyond what we can imagine if we are with him. And the only thing I go back to is the closest I've been to the Lord. There have been certain periods in my life, short periods, where I was incredibly close to the Lord. And the overwhelming uh, note of his presence was joy to the, to the point where I felt like I was going to explode. And I put those two together. I'm like, that's where we're going to, this place where... You are so close to him and he is exploding with love and with joy and it's love over you. It's this deeply personal thing, mind blowing, because we don't deserve it, right? So that's the place we're going to. And the only thing though is we're still in the here and now. And if you're in this place, first of all, I feel you. I feel your pain and my heart goes out to you. Uh, uh, but I just want to give you a little practical thing that if you're going through it right now, there's a little exercise I've learned. It's really to get to the place where you accept the trial and you praise him in the midst of it. And this is the secret that so many of the persecuted have discovered in prison. You know, you fight and you fight and then you praise and you accept and you say, Father, your will be done. And I trust you, I don't understand this at all. I don't understand it, but I know you're good. And I know you will guide me through this. And this too shall pass, okay? Hug those around you, it's, this life is so fragile. And this place is so cold. We need to let the love of God out from us and touch those all around us. God bless you. Thank you for caring uh, for your persecuted brother and sister.